In this video, you will learn how to solve this Japanese Olympiad uh, equation. We are asked to evaluate this expression involving square root and division without the use of logic of all of a calculator. Now you come to see that we are going to just use algebraic logic in solving this question rather than a uh, calculator. Want to know how? Don't forget to keep, keep, give this video a thumbs up, also subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. We are going to solve it together. Now from this expression, you come to see that we have 11, we have 100, and we have 1, 1, 1. Now you come to see that in 1, 1, 1, we have 100 and uh, 11. Is it not so? From 1, 1, 1, you can see that 1, 1, 1, can be equal to 100 plus what plus 11 so that means we can simplify that expression now if we simplify that expression we're going to have that expression to give us the square root of 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 right to the power of 4 plus 11 plus 100 and put to be to the power of 4. Great. Now, having done that, we are seeing that all this expression will be divided by 2. So we'll carry our 2 along. Now, having done that, I want us to simplify this expression such that we will find it very easy to tag along. Now, to simplify this expression, I want us to do two things. Let's take our x to be equal to 11, and then we'll take our y to be equal to 100. Now, if we do that, we're going to simplify this expression. This whole expression will give us the square root of x to the power of 4, right, plus y to the power of 4, plus x plus y, and all to the power of 4 right and all this will be divided by 2 great so having taken that part or having taken that choice the next thing i want us to do is to consider the power from that expression now you can see that from the power 4 can be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 so how will that affect that expression let's consider the square root that will now give us the square root of x to the power of 4, right, plus y to the power of 4, plus this whole thing will now give us x plus y square. There's a reason why I'm doing this, and this will be what? Squared. Because from that expression, you'll come to see that if we have a to the power of x y which is 4 it can be equal to a to the power of x multiplied by the power y great so all that is established and all these will be divided by 2 great now let's look at that from that expression you come to see that x plus y square uh, is equivalent to an algebraic formula from that algebraic formula, we are given that in an algebraic formula, we are given that if we have a plus b, right, and all squared, that this can be equal to a square plus b square plus 2 multiplied by the first multiplication of the first and the what? The second, right? And this is exactly what we have in this expression. So that means that expression can simply give us the square root of that expression will now be the square root of x square. We're going to take this gradually until we get to the solution. Y to the power of 4, right? And this will be plus. This will now give us x square plus y square plus 2xy 
and remember all this is what squared great and all this is still divided by 2 great now let's consider simplifying for them from this point now we can come to expand the right hand side and how do we expand the right hand the the uh, what do we call it the numerator how do we come to expand the numerator remember this part is squared and from that expression you have your x square plus y square plus 2x square we we'll expand this because it is squared and this will give us x square plus y square plus 2x square now if we multiply this we are going to have a solution to that expression that whole expression will now give us this will be the square root let's render this as the square root right and that will give us our x to the power of 4 which remains what it is plus our y to the power of 4 which remains what it is plus now we can now uh, simplify that expression x squared times x squared will give us x to the power of 4 right x squared times y squared will give us plus x squared y squared right x squared times uh, 2x uh, y will give us 2x to the power of 3 right y and this will be plus y squared times x squared that will give us x squared y squared right great now y squared times y squared will give us plus y to the power of 4 plus the next thing we'll have is y squared times 2xy that will give us plus 2x y what y cube great so this whole expression will now give us the next thing we will now do is we'll now add the next one 2x plus 2xy multiplied by 2xy that will give us what 2x to the power of 3y right and this will be plus the next one is going to give us 2xy multiplied by y squared that will give us 2xy to the power of 3 right and the final one we are going to have that expression to now give us 2xy multiplied by 2xy that will give us what 4x squared y what y squared and all these all these should be divided by what? By two. What the longer expression? All these will be divided by two. Now let's simplify that expression. If you look at that expression very well, you see that we have two x squared, two x to the power of four. So that expression will now give us the next square root. That will give us two x squared x4 right we will have this and this and then we'll have y to the power of 4 and y to the power of 4 that will give us plus 2y to the power of 4 plus we have 2 uh, x square y square we have x square y square that is 2 x square y square then do we have x square y square again Yes, the last one we have 4. So 2 plus 4, that will give us 6. That will give us 6x square y square, right? So this will have plus 6x square y square, right? So x square is gone. So the next thing we want to go, we want to go for x cube and 2x cube and y uh, plus, multiplied by y. So we'll have this to become 1, right? 2x cubed. We have this to become 4x cubed multiplied by y, and that is all. So that will give us what? 4x cubed y. And the next one, we'll have the next one to be 
this one is gone the next one will be 2x 2xy cube that will give us 2xy cube and that is this and what this that will give us plus 4xy cube right and all these will be divided by 2 great so having done that we are going to simplify further we we'll simplify further we'll take that expression lower now let's simplify by removing that division 2 from that expression if we divide all through by 2 we'll have that expression to now give us the square root of let's remove the 2 2 we clear 2 here and this will remain what x to the power of 4 plus 2 we clear 2 here and this will give us y to the power of 4 plus this will give us 3 x square y square plus and this will give us 2 x cube y plus 2 x y what y cube great now so at this point let's consider expanding just this expression if we expand this expression it's going to give us this it's going to make this expression to automatically become this all the square root of this will become x square plus y square all squared plus xy all squared plus this will be common because 2xy is common so we'll bring out 2xy and this will give us what x square plus y square and that is what this will give us now wondering how we got this now I want to show you how we got this. From that expression, you come to see that from this whole expression, you come to see that that whole expression will give us x square all squared plus y squared all squared right plus two x square y square plus this can simply give us x what this can simply give us x y what squared because both of them are squared now if you look at this expression here this whole expression you come to see that they are similar to this algebraic expression and what is the algebraic expression a square plus b square plus 2 a b and that is the algebraic expression that is given back from a plus b what squared. Now from this expression, you can see that your a is equal to x squared, right? And our b is equal to y what squared. So if you check that expression very well, this is going to give us x squared plus y squared right all squared and that is what this whole expression gives us so if we do that that will replace this while this will now become this so you see we did not change anything and that is exactly the expression we got as we went ahead to do what to also simplify this to become what to become this now let's go ahead with the solution having gotten that we will now simplify further. To simplify further, you can now see that this expression is still equal to or similar to an algebraic expression. Now, that expression can also be similar to this same algebraic expression. Remember, this is what a plus b all squared. This can be equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. 
Now, from that expression up there, what is the value of A? You can see that the value of A from that expression, that our A is equal to x squared plus y squared, right? And the value of our B is equal to x multiplied by y. Do you notice that? Where if we simplify that expression, you're going to have this to become A and this to become B squared, right? And this will become 2AB. Now, did you see that there? So that means we can simply simplify that expression to give us something like this. Now, let's simplify it. We'll simplify it to give us something similar to this will have that expression to now become, this is more tactical, but I want you to follow me as we solve it. That expression will now give us x squared plus y squared plus xy, and this all will be what? Square. Now, if you compare this expression with this, you find out that we have not changed anything. We just abide with the algebraic uh, expression we had earlier on. Did you get that? Where right, this is a square, this is b square, and this is 2ax. And that is exactly what this expression gives us. So we have simplified that expression to give us this. So from this point, you can see that our square root will give us, we clear the square, and this whole expression will now be equal to x squared plus y squared plus x what y. Now recall what the value of our x and the value of our y is. We said the value of our x is 11 and the value of our y is 100. So we will impart that into that expression. That whole expression will now be equal to x is equal to 11 square plus 100 square plus 11 multiplied by 100. And 11 multiplied by 100 is going to give us, this is going to give us 1, 2, 1 plus this is going to give us 10,000 and this is going to give us 1100. Zero, zero. So if we add this algebraic, if we add these numbers, we are going to have that expression to now be equal to 11221. One, two, one. And that is the solution to that expression uh, simplification we have up there. Now, did you notice that without the use of calculator, with just simply the use of algebraic expression, we were able to evaluate this expression. This is a Japanese Olympiad exam question, and I know you have followed me through as we use algebraic formulas in solving this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.